Um, do I need like a Xanax before we have this chat or what? <laughs> so, wanted to apologise to all the women that were there last night. And yeah, I just wanted the right time. Like, it's never a right time to be like, hey, sorry, I broke a glass in your face. Dom's apology for smashing the glass at the retreat was apparently scripted, and Dom <laughs> never wanted to apologise. Let me read out exactly what they said. I don't want to paraphrase. I don't want anyone to take anything I say out of context. I'm listening. Not happily. It's like she went to a bloody D-grade drama school and learnt to do a dramatic pause when you're trying to remember your lines. She wasn't sorry. Tamara and the producers told Dom she had to apologise and she was forced to apologise. Thoughts, feelings and opinions on that? No. <laughs> I know that the main thing I can explain from this is the pauses because- yeah, she paused a lot. And do you want to know why? Yeah. It's because- Hit me. <laughs> the day before, she had a full breakdown after the- You saw a part of it on TV. She was hysterical. Immediately after the glass Immediately smashing. after yeah. the when glass smashing. When she went smashing. and found you, yeah. Yeah. She was terrified of having to approach that group again and apologize. She was really scared and really, really anxious- and that was very, very hard for her to do. My hand was on her leg and she was shaking. Mm. That's not a joke. That's legit. And as she was shaking, there was no scripting. I can tell you right now, I'll, I'll give anyone a million dollars, which I do not have, if someone can find a script that we somehow read. I've never once read a script in my life. I genuinely haven't. There was nothing scripted about that apology. It was off the cuff. She knew what she needed to apologise for. She did not know how it was going to sound. So, she had to sit and think about what she was saying as she was saying it. And that's hard when you're sitting in a group and there's a whole bunch of things being said about you at the time. And all of a sudden, it's a hostile environment. And me speaking on Dom's behalf, you are literally terrified. I guess she was coming in on the- of- not on the offence. Uh, like the offence. On the, out- the defence on the outside is like- you know, one person apologising to a whole group of people. And Correct. I think she didn't really have much support. No, so no. She was- and she recognised she did the wrong thing. So, that's why an apology needed to be had. She made a mistake. She fully made a mistake and she needed to apologise for it. So, she was really emotional in that moment. She cried for two days prior. That's sad. That's not a joke. Like, then none of this is a joke. Like, this is genuinely someone that was in anguish. I was sitting there with her. I was supporting her through that to the best that I could, along with her parents and family that she was in contact to and friends, et cetera. And Ella, of course. That's why there was pauses. That's why there was all this stuff. It just, it really boils me to think that, oh, it was scripted. It was fake. It was, no, nothing on that show was fake. The only fake thing about that show is that we're putting these scenarios that were not real life. I was going to say something else, (laughs) but you continue. I was like, oh, no, he's going there. No, I'll never go there. I'll never bring anyone through the mud. I won't. But I will say that the only (laughs) ironic thing about reality TV shows is that they are so detached from reality because that's not a- it's not a real scenario. Mm. And that's why we end up in these weird and wonderful situations. Do you think Dom was, like, embarrassed in that moment as well? Like, because I can imagine you've done sure something that you regret on national TV in front of a group, not even, yeah, just in front of the group, but you know it's going to come out on TV. Mm. Do you think she was a little bit scared, a little bit embarrassed, a little bit- I have no doubt that all of those emotions would have been in the back mm. of her head as well. You know, she would have had that level of, like, her brain would have been in overdrive. She was thinking about all these different things. Oh, I shouldn't have done that in front of them. Oh, what are people going to think of this? What? And you do. At the end of the day, like, there's so much going through your head. There's a lot of factors as well involved. Yeah, there's so much. I mean, I know how I feel on a Sunday morning after I've gone out drunk and I've said some things or done some things. Yeah, I've heard some of those things. I'm like, oh, shit. And you want to crawl into a hole and then she's instead got to- Sunday scaries. Sunday scaries. She's then got to address the group on national TV. It would have been a lot to do that apology. It's a tough thing to do and she did it. If you really, 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 really liked this video, please click on the like button as well as the subscribe button so you can be notified of more videos like these.